October 13, 1754. I, I lived in Trent, near Trenton, New Jersey. I have to pull my shirt off or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, when I was when I was six, I went to the library with my mom. I'm talking with my mom. Um, I, I went to the library and I found a book about history, about wars that, in the past. I read the whole book from one to two hundred. Twenty years later, I... I realized that that the Revolutionary War would be would be starting in 20 years. 20 years later, I got married and I traveled to to Valley Forge. And I traveled to Valley Forge. I met George George General George Washington. Right now, he is called General Washington because he wasn't pre president now, right now. Um, so, I got married to a man named Paul, and my real name is Mary Hayes. My husband, the, the, how I got my name was my, my husband called me Molly, and I'll tell you how I got my name picture. Well, one day, it, during the Revolutionary War, the Battle of Mammoth, whatever it's called, <laughs> I don't, I can't pronounce it, but um, it was a hundred something degrees outside and the men didn't have any water. I grabbed Picture. I filled it up with cold spring water, and I fed and I put it to the lips of each of each army men that were laying on the ground and about to faint. It was so hot I could har I could hardly breathe. I kept filling it up and filling it up and filling it up again. I I ran down to the I I couldn't find I couldn't find my husband Paul, but I kept on filling it up and feeding and putting it to the lips of the army men until until one of the gunners fainted. I knew what I had to do. I had to grab that muffler and stick it into the cannon. I had to be that gunner. I I grabbed a bowling ball. I grabbed a cannonball and shoved it into the cannon. And shoved it into the cannon. I I kept shooting and shooting and shooting. By the by the end by the end of the Revolutionary War. Everyone, uh, nearly about 4,000 men had died. In the British, it was, it was almost about 6,000. We had won. The American had won. And it was safe. But,
army men took my husband and me <gasps> to, <laughs> to Valley Forge.